I need that. Welcome to California. Check out my fun room. TV console, suitcase area, bed, nightstand number one, desk, uploading today's video, chair lounging area, hole to the bathroom. Look, this is a hole in the wall. Ooh. Bathroom, that's me right there. Hey guys. <sighs> that looks to be a yo-yo. <gasps> What? Never have I been to a hotel that has a yo-yo. Also, I'm wearing my hat forwards for this trip or today because the last few times I've been outside, uh, I've got quite the sunburn and I didn't bring any sunscreen. I haven't bought any yet. All right, let's see if I still got this. Oh no, clearly I don't. Let's see if this is any good. Ugh. All right, all right, sleep. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Ugh. Look at that. That sleeps pretty well. A little around the world action. Go we'll walk the dog. Ugh. Did my best. Are these juggling? What is this place? I haven't juggled in so long. Oh yeah, no problems at all. Underhand juggling like this, and then you've got overhand. Oh, and then it just gets out of control. Underhand, over, wait, wait. underhand, overhand. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in here all day and play with these fun toys. We need a proper PM tour as per tradition, as per usual on this channel. Let's B-roll like 10 seconds, maybe like 50, 20, 20 max. Check out this room. That's it, that's about good enough for the room. As far as B-roll goes, I'm all B-rolled out of this place. I am, however, super hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. I mean, I had some fruit on the airplane and like some orange juice, one coffee, that needs to be fixed. But other than that, let's get this vlog going. Welcome to episode seven. All right. Oh, I should also mention, one, I forgot my sunglasses again. I have so many pairs of sunglasses because everywhere I go, I forget them. And California is most definitely the wrong place to forget your sunglasses. And number two, I just now uploaded After Effects Basics. So it's a tutorial that I've been working on. I've been getting requested this for so long now. It's just a really scary program and it takes a long time to teach, but I did just drop the very first video. So if you're interested in doing special effects and just cool edits and kind of making your video a little bit a little bit more check out that video I'll, I'll pop the little eye tag up here there it is all right moving on hi before we even get into today's vlog I just want to point out it's very difficult to vlog in uh, what time is it it's 351 the Sun I feel like it's right here so if uh, if this is very bright and you feel like I'm squinting a lot it's, it's because I am and and it is welcome to Los Angeles so a little context, I'm on a rooftop right now, uh, downtown LA. I don't know what rooftop it is. I don't know how we got up here. We took like five elevators and 16 stairwells. I'm with my friend Ryan and Daniel, more on them in a minute. But uh, this is pretty cool. LA is very beige. It's like a big pair of khaki pants. <laughs> it's also uh, just like, I don't like heights. I just, I don't know. Rooftopping, those types of Instagram photos, they look dope, super cool. Not for me, folks, not for me. How about a little tour, if you will? I'm not even from here, but I believe this building at my 11 o'clock is the Walt Disney Concert Center. I think that's what that is. That's some kind of art gallery. Those are two friends. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna do some sunset photos. We're gonna talk about how to get great sunset photos. I actually think with this sunlight, it'd almost be interesting of how I get footage shooting in bright light like this. Here's another little pro tip. For those people that know, I'm obsessed with ND filters and variable ND filters. If I was to unscrew this right now, I want you to see how bright it actually is. So that's what it looks like without my ND if I want to shoot wide open. God, it's so bright and so hot. Man, I, I chose the wrong outfit for this. Pick the wrong day to wear black. And again, I wear black like every day. Look at that. Ooh, first of all, look at that sun flare. Where is it? Wait, come back. Oh, that's gone. That's the building. That's where we were, that roof. That's pretty cool. It's nice here. Travis kind of... Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Finished. 
Just there's the man. All right, man. Uh, thanks yeah. for collabing. Yeah, dude. It was great. It was legit. Yeah, see you later. Good to see you. Here's the plan. We are headed to Laguna Beach. Where is that? How far is that? It's like an hour away. It's like an hour away. And since we're in LA, that means it's like four hours away. Yeah. It's super hot. He doesn't have AC in his car. No. His car has nothing. The back of my shirt is soaked. Yeah, it's wet. We're to walk into a dark tunnel here, but that's the plan. Banger sunset shots in Laguna Beach. Just had a nice coffee, feeling good. Let's do this. Cody, that was for you. All right, here we are. About to get in this oven, this oven of a vehicle. What is it, like 120 inside it right now? All right, and we got an hour and a half drive and LA traffic. Okay, and it's like 100 degrees outside. This should be fun. <laughs> Everyone tell Ryan he needs AC in the comments below. Let's, let's make this a fun one. Okay, we're about 15 minutes out. Well, not out, we're about 15 minutes in and uh, it's hot, it's very hot. It's like we're like 30 minutes in now and I'm, I'm I'm actually melting. Like I feel lighter. I feel like there's less of me now. It's just evaporated into the into the smog of LA. But I noticed something that I thought some of you may have never seen before. This is very interesting. A little lesson here. This this here is called the compact disc, a CD. Uh, music can go on these, you know, sometimes like 22 tracks or something. And this here is a, it looks to be a mixtape of sorts. You'd be able to, you know, pick different songs and then you would burn them onto a blank disc. You could buy, you know, discs at like a hundred spindles and it was, uh, and then you put them in this thing. This is a, this is a CD player, right? So they come out like that and then you would just slide it. Oh, make sure it's, make sure it's clean and then you would just slide it in and then your music would play from this CD songs. player, like 22 songs. Incredible, incredible technology. It's a little lesson for you. All right, update. We're driving by a garbage dump right now and the breeze is bringing all the smell into the car and the windows are open because there's no AC. It's, uh, yeah, it's great. What a beautiful, what a beautiful drive. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to duck because it's so bright, because the sun's setting. This is the only spot of shade I could find, but we're finally out of that car, and it feels so good to stand. So now, the mission is sunset Instagram mission. We're gonna talk about a whole bunch of tips to get banger sunset shots, shooting near the water. This is gonna be fun. I never get to shoot sunset. Like, I, it just never happens. And California sunsets, oof, the best. Look at that light, man. Looks so good. Look at that, just pouring down the street. Look how dirty my filter is too. That's disgusting. I should really clean that. <laughs> nah, next day. Ugh. Yo, why don't you use a camera bag? Because uh, when you drive with a car with no AC, you can't afford any extra weight, you know? You have to keep it light. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do I look beach ready? <laughs> I think so. All right, sun setting, waiting for that, that nice tasty color to come in. What's your favorite time? For sunset probably half hour before and half hour after where you get that really good light that comes right before sunset and after half hour before half hour after then you get a little bit of a mixture a little you know a little palette to work with optimal you always want as many options as you can I mean you get what you can because sometimes the Sun just sets and get it done but you know having options whenever you're gonna go shoot sunset somewhere give yourself time being stressed trying to run to chase that light that's why it's a saying chase the light it's stressful and it's not fun <laughs> For sure gonna get wet over here when these waves roll in. Do it fast. I picked the wrong sneakers for this. There it is. There's some good light. All right. Looks oh, good, right? It's real good. If I really like to use a circular polarizer, it cuts the reflection off the water, and if there's a lot of mist, um, it can actually cut that through. And it's something that it's kind of hard to, to tell exactly what it'll do, but it's been something that's helped me get a lot of really good shots, and it brings the colors out of the sky. And you'd be surprised what colors are actually there, even if you're like naked, I can't see them. When you really edit it and pull it out, it's pretty rad. I agree with everything he just said. The only downside is I don't have one with me. <laughs> All right, sun looks good. Gonna send the drone up, get some aerial shots, hopefully get it back. Let's go. Okay, that pretty much concludes sunset. 
caught the last of it pretty much with the drone up high. I was gonna say one of the tips I would recommend to you is don't always just shoot towards where the sun is setting because a lot of times the background behind you, the other direction where the sun is illuminating looks just as good or better. So a lot of the times don't forget to turn around and that's kind of funny because you see you get to a good spot, a bunch of people are set up with tripods and you think, oh yeah, this is the spot right here. But turn around, look the other way and sometimes that's even better. So when I was flying my drone towards the sun, it looked okay, you can check that shot out here. But then when I turned around and saw how nicely lit that whole coast was with the green and the palm, like that looks way better. So don't forget to do like a 360 and really look for the best angle. I think the last tip would probably be like obvious. I mean, if you have a drone or access to a drone, try to get it up in the air because aerials at sunset, top down of the water, it just looks so good. It's a unique vantage point that you can only get from the sky. It's starting to get dark here and it's creeping me out. I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm so hungry right now, I feel like I could die. I would just eat my own like foot right now, I'm so hungry. It'd probably be terrible, but. Oh, hiking. I dressed for the part. Guinea jeans always. Yo, why didn't we just come this way at the beginning? It's like a clear path instead of like scaling the rocks. Oh. Yeah. That's why we went the other way. Down we go. All right, I'm gonna pack my camera away so I don't fall. This is gonna take extra concentration, especially with the off-white Prestos I'm wearing right now. Double the confidence. 